Hey buddy, Sandman here. We got our 27th episode of our Columbus Blue Jackets franchise mode here on the PS4, guys. In the last episode, we went and did the beginning of the season. Yeah, we did the beginning of the season, the year six season um, of this Columbus Blue Jackets GM mode. And um, we, as you can see, our record is phenomenal. We're at the trade deadline. This is the trade deadline, guys. And our record is 43, 15, and 5. So... We have to look at a way to improve our team in the best uh, way that uh, we can do that. As you can see, our locker room chemistry is only 73%, and we are guessing that is because of more morale from our players that are not liking their ice time. Although Andrew Shaw, which is one of our uh, top penalty killers, um, although he has played very well for us over the years, we unfortunately do need to trade him for the purposes of his ice time not being acceptable. So the next guy that we bring in uh, has to be just as much. Uh, it needs to be like an improvement on Shaw, um, but also he needs to enjoy his ice time. We're also going to be moving Michael Latta in this trade for the purpose of, you know, he's best friends with Andrew Shaw. He's also not happy with his ice time now. So we're going to move them together in a package. And um, it's pretty safe to say that the next guy we're going to get, um, I'm going to be trading a first round pick. So um, we're going to see um, how that works out. We're going to be going over to Detroit here. We're not going to take their draft pick, but we are going to take a forward, one of their top penalty killing forwards, 22 years old, grinder, right winger, Kimo Lumala who is defensive, physical stats, skating stats, everything is stacked. He's a third line checking forward, so he should be, keyword should, uh, be good with his ice time. The good news is his offense awareness is 85, and his shooting category is all right. So when it comes to stats, he's not a minus player just because he's only defense. He can have uh, some offense in his game as well. He's not really proved in the playoffs, but Detroit has never really been that much of like a stacked team um, yet. Uh, their, their team is still um, looking on, they still got some young core pieces and they're trying to uh, become much more dominant. They are going to be a playoff team, but we are going to somewhat screw over the system. We're a championship team. We need our team to be better. We're going to give them a great penalty killer in Andrew Shaw in exchange for uh, Lumala. And um, hopefully uh, this will be a, a good enough trade for us. So we're going to try and look for a depth forward. Darren Helm I know is one, but his cap isn't that great. He's got the poise, all, all right stats. Hmm, let's see. Minus 10 over the season, 11. No, 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 no. He has not been a very good uh, platformer. I believe, yeah, this guy is, uh, is another depth forward. He's a minus four, a bit more of an offensive guy. I wouldn't mind taking him. He's a bit younger. Uh, is there any other guys? Giovanni Smith, anybody with some decent stats? Fourth liner. I don't like that. I don't like his stats. Um, Levo, Levo, he's a fourth line forward. We could try him. He's in the AHL right now, hmm. and in the playoffs, five points. A bit more of a. He's got two shorthanded goals. So you know what, Josh Levo, let's bring him up and make him the extra guy in this trade. So we're gonna get Levo and Lumala in exchange for Shaw, Lada, and a first. Will this work? Um, no, trade rejected, so not quite there, but we can we can make it pretty easy on them. Goalies, uh, yeah, we can get rid of these goalies, and um, any other prospects along the way that we can get rid of, we can get rid of Schellenberg, no, that's it. Um, yeah, that looks that looks about right. We don't really need these goalies, uh, we'll be fine. Uh, we, the reason we draft goalies is because they usually have better potential in the draft, so uh, more value. So uh, exactly why we put them in this trade, um, and yeah, so hopefully this will go through again. Shaw Lada a first and, and those goalies in exchange for Lumala and Lievo. Will it work? And there you go. Trade accepted. We believe this transaction will contribute to our success here in Detroit. So we accepting your trade offer. So they accept it. They got some, an extra first round pick and another good forward. Um, uh, Shaw is a great penalty killer. Um, Lumala is going to make our forward court even that much better. Um, I might send down Lievo for the fact that I really just don't want to have him. I don't want to worry about him. Is there any depth forwards in our system? We really don't have any depth forwards. That's not what I... I don't like that. Um, okay, we'll leave Lievo there. If he starts complaining, I might just send him down. Maybe during the playoffs, because I think waivers basically are canceled out during then. But uh, we're going to try fitting in Lumala here into the lineup. Hopefully is. 
Ice time is okay, and he's, he's all right with it. We got a stacked forward core. If this team isn't good enough to win a Stanley Cup, then, yep, you really can't win a Stanley Cup. Um, the only thing I was thinking about was improving our defense. We don't really have any defensive defensemen, and the one guy that I was thinking of bringing in or and replacing was Jordan Schmaltz. Um, his cap hit would be ideal to get rid of. He's not really best friends with anybody. He's still on the team. Martinson, you see. Um, he's a good... The thing is, he's always been consistent for us throughout the seasons he's been with us. Not an offensive guy, but he's always put up points. That means he's... Or, like, he's had a good plus minus, meaning he's been, like, even strength, he's good. And during the playoffs, he's still... He's good. So, I mean, as long as he's solid, playing good defense, you know, he's one of our penalty killers... We may have to move him eventually, but right now this is all our team is really capable of doing. I've looked for a couple defensive defensemen. There was one that stuck out to me, but um, unfortunately the trade value just didn't really work. And I don't really want to throw away everything. We got to have assets for um, realistically. Uh, we got to have um, we got to have assets for future years. So, uh, Lievo, being a traded is a big change, but I'll make you proud of your choice. Uh, let's be demanding from him. Uh, he ex he likes the firm approach. Uh, Lumala, he's a younger guy. We will still be demanding on him. That's our that's our go-to one for this team. Uh, Lumala just had the neutral effect, so that's all right. So bad we couldn't get positive straight away. That would have been nice. Maybe try uh, motivating next time. Maybe that'll help. But um, as our penalty, he's going to be on our penalty kill, top line penalty kill. So it should be all right for him. Um, is he, what's his face off like? 71? I can deal with that. I can deal with that. Uh, yeah, we'll leave that for now. Um, anything else? Could we give him any more time? Uh, does, did we give, uh, what's his name? Shaw any more time? Uh, yeah, we did. So that should be good enough, hopefully. I, I, I hope so. That's all we can really hope for right now. Um, yeah, that looks, that looks good. So we're going to go just continue on, finish the rest of the season. And like I said in the last episode, we will be doing the first round of the playoffs in this episode. Because, I mean, our team's already pretty much a playoff team right here. Um, it's safe to say that. Uh, we're going to hope that um, these new changes will continue to uh, make our team better. Uh, Shaw in past years has been a really... Uh, good player for us and I kind of sucks that we had to trade him but I think Lumala being younger he's coming up to a contract year but I mean that also makes it good we can qualify him we can always figure out our cap space with Shaw we would have had to lose him to free agency even if we kept him so I mean there's ups and downs to this um, unfortunately there was there was a couple other guys that could have gone after but Lumala stuck out to me because he was young and he's like 87 overall with morale uh, 86 overall so um, we may have to give him more ice time just to try and see if we can uh, get his overall back up there and at, play, have him playing at his best. Um, but there's not too many other spots that we really, especially for him, he's more, he has the offensive stats to be good, but not like a power play guy. So um, we just got to keep going with it. So our team's pretty much 500 now. That's that's fine. We're getting some wins here. We got two straight there. That's nice to see. Um, McQuaid, is he still... All right, uh, minor top two. No, not really. Not really. Nope. Not the kind of guy uh, we want to put on our bottom pairing. We got some guys in the AHL who can fill in. There's a third win against Washington, a fourth win against Carolina. So we're getting offense. That's nice to see. We're at 50 wins now. That's really awesome. What a season for this team. Uh, Calgary, we got a 2-1 victory there. We're on a six-game winning streak. one nothing victory against San Jose. Someone got a shutout there. Okay, so we lose to Edmonton. There goes our streak, but can we bounce back? That would be nice. We're potentially one, two, three. There's five games left. We could get up to 57 wins. Let's let's keep on going, boys. Why stop now? Why stop now? I think if we keep playing stellar here, we should be. There's a point that's nice. We should have the President's Trophy. I couldn't quite remember. I think there might there actually might have been one team who was like a point ahead of us last time I checked. Um, I could be wrong though. We might check that out or I mean just keep on winning and then we can just see at the end of the season President's trophy doesn't matter to me because if we get knocked out in the first round, it's not that good uh, Colin White is injured till April 13th. So a small injury there We can deal with that. That's why we have the depth that we do So um, now I will show this to you guys because I mean we're gonna have the next round of the playoffs. We're gonna have the first round of the playoffs pretty quick So we'll figure out all this 
Um, probably, yeah, we can do that for lines. That sounds good. Hyman can play center. I don't think I need anyone else. There's a... No, yeah. Hyman's the best face-off guy, I think, here. Lumala, Lumala should be good there. Penalty kill, Lievo there. Um, yeah, I don't mind having him there, but we gotta... Ooh, maybe not. You know, let's see. Who else can we give ice time to again? Who could use it uh, to boost their stats? I guess Hyman is a safe guy. He's uh, He knows the system. Or we could go with more of a offensive guy. Uh, Levin. Yo, let's give Levin some more time. That seems like a good idea. Um, yeah, okay. And uh, if, um, what's his name? If, oh wait, you know what? No, never mind. We actually are giving Levin some power play and penalty kill time, so we should be okay. Uh, Keller's actually not liking his ice time. Uh, he seemed to be a bit unhappy, so we're going to give him some time. Wait, no, 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 no. Uh, and Lievo, no. We'll get in, yeah, Clayton. We're getting Clayton Keller there. So he can be our penalty killer there. He's going to play a bit more ice time. It's all right. He has some good defensive stats. 2 nothing victory against the Rangers. We're 54-19-7. What a year. The Detroit Red Wings, the team we just made that trade with. I'm not sure if we played them before. Uh, we'll leave Colin White for now. Just make sure he gets back up to full speed. Uh, Detroit, a 5-4 overtime win. And lose to the Islanders to finish off season. 55 wins. That's quite the year. Um, and there you go. We're going to be going up against the Montreal Canadiens in the first round. So potentially Carey Price still there? I would think so. Six years in. Yeah, he'll be getting up there, but he should be still on the team. So uh, we can do uh, quite a few things here. Um, let's get Colin White back in there, I think. I think we want to get him back in there. Because, yeah, yes, that sounds good. No, I accidentally exited out. Forgive me about that. Uh, let me just go back. We'll put uh, Colin White back in there. We'll fit him back in the lineup. And um, I I feel like the reason our team would lose is because the morale for just... It just it sucks because I think we... It, I feel like we're kind of the capitals in, in a capital situation now where it's like our team really should win, but I mean... It, it 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 happens. It's the playoffs. You never know. I mean, we could get knocked out in the first round and then, I mean... Well, that would suck. <laughs> uh, let's see. Power play. We have Clayton Keller. He's on the power play. He's getting that top line time. Uh, we Do we need to make changes with that? I'm 62 points. I might have... We might have to change it up a bit here. Uh, we're going to go into the playoffs like this, but... I mean, we have the best team that we could possibly have right now. We have second liners on our th third line. It's... Oh man, we we really do have a stacked team. We just gotta we just gotta come through here. Corpusel, let's see. You know what? We'll check all of the stats after. Uh, Scratch, yeah, we got Lievo there and penalty killers. Sorry, let me just double check. I gotta make sure. Uh, yeah, we're good. We are good. So now we can see if um, if we edit the lines. Uh, no, not at the lines. We just did that. <laughs> Sorry, I, I'm just talking out loud. Um, yeah, we can check out the stats. Let's go to the team stats and see where we were. We should be the President's Trophy team. I didn't actually see a notification. Maybe I just wasn't paying attention. 117 points. Yes, the Islanders, who we actually lost twice to at the end of the season, they had 51 wins. They were the second best team. Vancouver is the third best team. Uh, Chicago, St. Louis, Dallas. All right, all right. So... Let's check goals for. We had three goals per game, and that uh, for for average, and that's good for around ninth. Ninth, that's good. Three goals per game is very good. We're we're working on our offense, but defense, most important stat, we're second in the league, so that's good to see. Um, let's see. Uh, power plays. Do we take? A, do we get a lot of power plays? We don't get a ton of power plays. Do we? Are we good though? Are we good for that? Uh, Columbus, I can't, I don't see it. Yeah, there you go. Uh, yeah, seventh, that's good. Twenty-one percent, that's pretty good. Uh, penalties, we are set, we are a very disciplined team, and we're a very good team on the penalty kill. So that's what I like to see. Home record was just dominant, and yeah, we were a very good team to end off the season. That's nice. So we weren't coming in cold. That's a that's a nice thing to note there. Um, yeah, so we can now finish up the team stats. Yeah, player stats. Only 62 points for Clayton Keller at the top there. Same with uh, Nico Heischer. But, you know, 
I mean, they're playing good defensively. It's all good. Uh, second line, yeah, so second line actually was a bit of a minus, so we may have to spread that out. These are really offensive guys, so maybe splitting them up might not be a bad idea. Um, but we're going to go into the playoffs like this. The third line could also be split up or switched around with the second line. The top line, we just need to see how our guys play together. If the playoffs work out well, then they work out well. So that's what we just got to make sure we're winning. Um, yeah, I think we're good there. So solid stats all around. We got lots of goal scores. Uh, 35, yeah, we had five 20 goal scores. So that's, that's awesome to see, including 11 who had 25 goals. So that's, that's good. That's not a bad season. Um, let's see. Atkinson slowed down this year, so we may need to spread out, uh, spread him out maybe. Uh, we'll see how he does in the playoffs again. Goalies, six shutouts for Corpus Allo, two for Bulton. And the stats, yeah, Corpus Allo, he, he should win the Vezina. That's a great season. Bulton slowed down a bit, but you know what? Uh, important thing is Corpus Allo, he really is playing uh, like a studly goaltender. Rookie skaters. Uh, Merkley was up there, but he's there's probably going to be a forward there. So uh, why not check out the, the all the league stats? We don't usually do this too much, so we can check that out quick. Akers, he was a very good goalie for the Islanders. Wow, elite goalie. Wow. All right. So wait, did I just? Yeah. Okay. L an AHL starter. <coughs> nice stats. Eight shutouts. Um. Okay. That that's very interesting. <laughs> You see those guys occasionally. Uh, Mike Condon, he's now a uh, pretty good goalie. Yep, yeah, okay. So some pretty good goalies here. I think I, I didn't really check out the stats too much, but I think Corpus Allo could have uh, could have that. Uh, for points, uh, Weiss, that center on Detroit. Uh, pretty good. Suzuki, yeah, a couple guys here. Sexsmith, uh, he was a guy I was looking at because he was a third-line guy and great defensive stats, but he was a bit too much value. Well, I mean, around the same value as Lumala, actually, but I don't know. Um, Patrick Kane, oh, wow, 113 points, 55 goals. If we want to win, maybe having him on our second line would have helped. Uh, Patrick, or sorry, uh, yeah, Patrick Line down here. Uh, Panarin, so some good stats here. No one really up top for us. Debrinkat is another uh, notable name, some younger guys. McDavid, not quite point per game still. Uh, something's messed up there. Uh, goals, let's see, 55 for Kane, yeah, so pretty good year. Keller at 35, so that's nice to see. We got a, a big goal scorer there for us. Uh, Tolchinski, yep, he's a AHL scoring forward, but clearly in AHL scoring forward, he's scoring in the NHL. Um, yeah, defenseman, quick look, points, 75 for Ulevi, uh, 65 for Ekman he had 21 goals. Uh, plus 21 for Ben Hutton, 54 points. Let's look to see that in the future, hopefully. <laughs> Real life, obviously. Um, yeah, so there you go. P.K. Subban's at minus 37. Not in real life, clearly. I mean, he's taken Nashville pretty far. That's <laughs> I'm hyped for the playoffs right now. I just got to mention that. That's It's such a good playoff year. I'm really disappointed that it looks like Pittsburgh may actually win uh, the series against Ottawa. Ottawa really has uh, been, uh, I guess you could say the underdogs this year, but they've really uh, proven themselves against some really tough teams there in the playoffs. So that's really cool to see. Um, but now we're going to go up in the round one against the Montreal Canadiens. So let's see what their team is looking like in year six. Okay, so Arturi Latkinen, uh, Alex Galchenyuk, and Nikita Sherbak. So some good supporting cast players uh, offensively, along with Alex Galchenyuk, 92 overall. Let's let's take a quick peek at how he did. 69 points. So he's had some really good season, especially last year. But yeah, he's a... He's a top line center all round, so good for them. They got uh, Wenberg as well. I'm curious to see how is he doing. 50 points plus 22. Yeah, I had a feeling he could do that. Uh, Gallagher and that's really cool that they have they actually spread them out. Gallagher and Flip and Patch are ready. How do they do? 67 points. Oh wow, Gallagher. Yeah. Okay, so we may need to stack up our lines a bit and make sure our top guys are going up here. Yeah. So some really good goal scoring from their top lines. They got Mato. Mato. Um, and uh, Cody Glass as well. Not too bad of a third line. Salamaki, decent defensive player. Martin Hanslow. Remember when we had him as well. He's uh, He's been a bit more of a minus player, but a fourth line center on him. He's probably on their penalty kill, I'd, I'd guess. Uh, McCarron, solid physical guy there. And Roussel. They got a really solid forward core. I like that forward core. Defense. Let's see what they got. Sergachev. Bircher. Oh my gosh. We traded so many guys to this team. Wow, he turned out to be 85 overall. Are you kidding me? That's nuts. Sergachev, how's he doing? 
22 points. So he's more of a shutdown guy, but he's he's getting her done. Shea Weber and Jonas Brodeen. Petrie, okay, this is a very good team. Defensively, wow, Petrie and Juleson. So no offensive defensemen. They are definitely a bit of a defensive team with lots of offensive pieces. So oh, they're going to be physical, I can tell. Goalies, Carey Price. Oh, my, and an elite goal. Like, what the heck? Montreal, wow. Um, They're still, like, a top-notch team. They, you know, they could be cup contenders. This could be a bit of a like a, a really tough match. Wow, even their scratch guy. This is a really tough team. Power play. Oh gosh. Penalty kill. Oh gosh. Wow. Okay, so we may need to set up some line combinations to make sure we can win against this team because we got the depth. But this, so I mean, you can say that they. I mean, they compared to our depth, we should have the advantage, but. I mean, the top lines are the ones playing minutes. So we may need to make some changes like moving Dubois up. He's going to be a physical defensive guy. He's played well for us in the past. We may need to move him up. We are going to need to be careful with our ice time for players, but we need to make sure. Wow, they got a tough team. This is You, you got to be impressed with them. You, I mean, they, they're here for a reason. Wow, Montreal, they are... Ooh, this is gonna be this is gonna be tough. This is gonna be a very tough playoff button. But you know, we got a 55 win season. We got a a deep team here in Columbus. Uh, boys, won the President's Trophy this year, and this trophy won't mean anything if we choke in the playoffs. So don't let up for one minute. We got to be demanding, just as we usually are. So Keller and Bolton not liking it. Levin, Murray, and Edmondson. So maybe. Uh, maybe something different if a different uh, team meeting style if we need to demanding has worked for us again in the past We've gotten deep with it not quite winning that cup So we may need to change up some things some some strategies some um, Some lines, but we're gonna just take it slow take it game by game and we're gonna see how we can uh, Play against this Montreal Canadiens team. We got home ice advantage. We had a great home record this season only eight losses in regulation so you know this is gonna be yeah, this is going to be a tough matchup. So interesting to see if it's going to be a bit more offensive or defensive. Let's come out uh, flying here, boys, and uh, get a goal here. First period. Uh, there you go. I'll take two. Yeah, Robbie Fabry and David Levin. First and second line getting offense for our team early. I like it. Second period. Okay, so Ryan Merkley, he gets one. That's a third goal in two periods. That's nice to see. And Salamaki on that third line. See, we have a stacked third line, but Salamaki just got a goal. Those ratings don't mean anything. It's the playoffs. Any player can step up. All right, boys. We've got to have a strong defensive third period here. We got the, we got a, I guess as Superb Man would say, we got the routine in place. Robbie Fabry getting a second goal of the game. David Levin getting his second goal of the game. The youngsters, they're coming through and it's 5-1. I don't see much coming back here. We're out shooting them big time, 33-21. to 21. Those are the shots. Three minutes left, two minutes, one minute. Yep, 5-1 to one is the final score there. So Price didn't really shut the door like he has in the past, but... You know, it's just one game. So we, we did kind of blow him out a bit there. Ryan Murray lost morale because of ice time. Corpusel obviously gave morale because of ice time. He's the one playing. Lievo uh, lost morale for being scratched. So we got to watch that. Got to be careful. But that was one game. So, I mean, we blew him out there. But game two, we just got to keep on. We got to keep on playing the way we did in the past game. Okay, we got to play hard and get those goals early. I like that we got, we're able to get offense against this defense. It's very, very good. So keep it up, boys. Let's get some offense again early in the first period. Here we go. First period, and okay, so Bercher, he gets a goal early. Crap. Uh, and Cody Glass, uh, he gets one as well. Toffoli, it's still early. 2-1 is the score. Uh, they're out shooting us 12 to 10, so come on, boys. Let's battle back here. Second period, and okay, <laughs> Antoine Roussel on the fourth line. I told you, it's the playoffs. So we're, we're starting to get uh, play better. Corpus Allo, I need you to start shutting the door here now. Carey Price, we got to start getting some goals on him again, boys. Come on, we got it. We can't just leave it for one game. We got to get some offense. We can get it. Power play, we got a good chance here. Five on three, and wow, Montreal's defense. Nope, Atkinson, we get a goal there. Another power play. They're taking some penalties here, or the refs are just giving it to us. Atkinson, come on, we got to get one more goal to tie it up late here, boys. Come on, we can do this. Three minutes left. Three, two, come on. Ah, oh, Arturi Lekkinen gets the empty netter. All right, all right. Montreal, yep, they're a good team. Price gets the first start. Cody Glass and Roussel. So their depth, their depth had a good game for them. That's rough. 
that's rough. We may need to make some line changes, but we're just going to leave it. It's an even series, okay? We're going to Montreal now. It's not going to be that easy. Wow, our HL team actually didn't make the playoffs. Wow. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's kind of rough. I was kind of hoping they might do it, especially with Comrie in that. So that's rough for him. Anyways, back to on topic. Game three in Montreal. They won that second game, 4-2. to two. Now we got to get some offense a bit here this game. They took control of the second game. We got to battle back and get some more offense. Their depth stepped up. Our, where's our depth? Come on. We got to get some more offense here, just like in the first one. First period. And, oh, crap. Nikita Sherback, he gets one. Come on, guys. I know we can get this back. It's still one. We got two more periods left to go. Come on. Let's get a goal here. Second period. And Brendan saw it. There you go. I knew it. Thank gosh we didn't get rid of him. He's a playoff veteran for us, and he's played very well throughout these past couple years in Columbus. Nice to see. Now we got third period. We got to come battle back here. Power play. It's still 1-1. Tie game. All right. So we tie back up in the shots. Come on, boys. We got to get a goal here. Who's going to get the next one? We got some depth here, some depth lineups. I'd like to see a guy like Dubois or Bjorkstrand getting a goal here. Come on. Come on, boys. Five minutes. Four minutes. Three minutes. Who is it going to be? Anyone? Is it going to go to OT? Oh, it's going to OT. So the shots are 29 to 26 in favor of Montreal. We got to get a goal here. We got to step up. This has got to be the time where the true, the true playoff team needs to come and get the win in OT. Just like this is, this is a huge game here, boys. We, we can't let it get away from us. Come on. Let's get a goal here in this overtime period. Let's go, Columbus. Come on. I know we got one in us. Who's it going to be? Any depth? Top lines. We haven't got much going here. He sure to Foley. Big penalty kill. Five on three. There you go. A power play now. And we come on. Long one. We can't capitalize. Wow. 40 shots. Corpus Allis playing for us, boys. Big penalty kill there. Oh, wow. Wow. It's a goaltender's duel. It's going to a second overtime. Come on, guys. We can get this goal here. Corpus Allis. There you go. Tyler Toffoli. 13 seconds into the second overtime. He gets it. Yes, on the top line. Look at that. First star, Corpus Allo. I told it. He's stepped up. Corpus Allo is a legit goalie. It don't matter if he's not 90 overall in this GM mode like he usually is because we made him low elite, but he's still that elite goalie. Wow. Carey Price, I quit the game as well. He, so that he deserves second star. And Toffoli, early in the second overtime, he gets it done. Yes. Thank gosh for that. That would have really sucked to go back uh, into Montreal again for a game four down 2-1. All right, but they can still tie it up here, boys, so we can't let up off the gas. So it was a great defensive game. I'm loving it. I'm just loving it. That's exactly the kind of style that, you know what, those games, the the fact that we can win those overtime games matters. Every, it, 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 you know what, bounces happen, but I mean, in overtime, when, when like these, every overtime game, it's just that close. A team could have, they could have scored within the, early within the first overtime, and you know what, they didn't. And we were able to get the goal in the second overtime. So that's huge. That's a huge goal by Toffoli. The fans in Columbus are going nuts. Here we go, boys. We got to go straight back, focus on to game four in Montreal once again. We got to come out with another W. I'd like to see some more offense. Corpus Allo can't always be the one who's shutting the door. But you know what? Uh, maybe he can. <laughs> come on, guys. Let's get a nice goal early. First period and two goals. Once again, Fabry and Levin. Nice to see that going well for us. Oh wow! Let's take a take a breath. Take a breath. Shots are eleven to eleven, tied shot. So it's still a very even game. But you know Columbus has a two nothing lead, so that's nice to build off of. Come on, boys, let's get another one here. Second period, and okay, so two two goals for each team. All right, that's all right. Martin Hansel and Salamaki, the depth lines coming through for Montreal. They got two goals there in that second, but Fabry gets his second of the night. He's been fire in this playoffs, and Oliver Bjorkstrand gets a goal. I think that might be his first one of the playoffs this year, so nice to see. We got a 4-2 lead. They're out shooting us 23-21, to so we got to stay solid here. Okay, Sherback gets one early. Come on, boys. We got to play defensive here. All we need is four goals. We just need to shut them down now, okay? We got 12 minutes left to do it, okay? Just keep shutting her down. And insurance would be nice. Power play. We got a chance here to do it. We do not get it. Come on, five minutes. Now just shut him down from here. Come on, boys. Shut her down. Corpus Salo. Is he going to do it? He does. Look at that. 36 shots on net. He allows only three goals. Columbus's offense comes through with four goals. And look at that. Just like that. We got a 3-1 series lead here against the tough Montreal Canadiens. Once again, Clayton Keller. Not happy with his ice time. So... 
I don't want to change that. He's unhappy, but we're winning. That's the thing. So I'm not going to make any changes. I might have to, but you know what? It's an even series. It's tight, but we have a 3-1 series. So you know what? This is what we're going to do. We're just going to leave the lines the way they are. We're going to keep it. We're going to keep it the way they are. Go into game five in Columbus versus the Montreal Canadiens. Let's see. We Are they going to be able to turn it back into a, a six-game series? Uh, or are we going to be able to just take it out now? Come on, boys. Once again, let's get offense early. First period. There you go. Shea Taylor, an unlikely guy to score that goal. They're out shooting the Canadians. They're out shooting us 10 to 5. Wow. Corbis Allen, he's just playing solid throughout this whole playoffs. I'm loving it. Come on, boys. Let's get some more offense. Second period. And Robbie Fabry gets another goal. It's 2 0. Now we've caught back on the shots. Wow. 16 to 15 for the Columbus Blue Jackets. We got one more period, 20 minutes left sh to shut the door. Power play, we got another chance. We did not get that third goal. That would be nice. That would be real nice. We got 14 minutes left. 13, 12, 11, 10 minutes left. Here we go, boys. Defensive hockey. This is the game that we excel at the most. Shutting her down. Montreal, will they answer? No, two minutes, one minute. Bjorkstrand gets an empty netter, and look at that. The Columbus Blue Jackets, they are dominant. And they play the exact game style that they need to do. And that gets them the victory. Corpus all gets a shutout. Wow. What a, what a way to end it. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Colin White has been injured with back spasms. So that's a good opportunity for uh, Keller to get some ice time. Unfortunately, we did lose a good penalty killer there in Colin White. He has been very stellar. There was a member in the, in, the, in the overtime game that we went to two overtimes. We had a couple penalties, I think, in the third or in the overtime, and it was huge. We really did shut him down. So he is a big part. That's a big loss. Um, so we may need to make some changes there. Maybe, I don't think we have Heischer in there. So I think, yeah, what we might do, we're going to get Dubois up there, and then we're going to get Heischer playing here. We're gonna keep the lines there. Uh, he sure again get him in there. No, we'll get Dubois here. There you go. That should be good. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah, actually no. We'll get he sure there, and then four man power play. Uh, come on. Is there any? Come on. Do we have any other lines we can do for Clayton Keller? He's getting top line time everywhere else. So who? Um, let's see. Uh, he sure didn't really get offense. The second line was all right. Uh, third line was a bit minus, so uh, that's interesting. Do we need to make changes? There's not really much you can do. Uh, it's just tough. I don't know where else we can put Keller. I can't really give him. I could give him. I could give him penalty kill time. That's the thing, but I don't really want to do that. So what I might do? Hmm. <coughs> mm hmm. This is uh, this is tough. We have to figure out how to get Keller more ice time. Because I'd, I'd rather have Heischer and Dubois on the penalty kill more, but he's not. He's the one that's unhappy with his ice time. He is. Where? Where? Wait. What? I was just. I was just on him. Uh. Yeah. His. He's not. He has gained morale because of ice time. Hmm. He's gained more morale because of ice time lately. Hmm. What should I do? You know what? I'm just gonna leave that. I'm gonna leave that the way it is. Heischer. Do we want to keep? Yeah. We'll keep Heischer on penalty kill. And Dubois can stay right there. You know, let's get Dubois, because Dubois, how happy is he? Uh, recent, because of individual performance, ice time. So, yeah, we'll just leave that. That should be good. Um, I just want to try, if we can get, if we can get guys even more happier than they are, then that really helps. Uh, Keller is not happy. I just don't understand how you can't be happy. How can you not be happy? We just made it on to the next round. Come on. All right. Well, you know, that's just going to have to be the way it is. Um, we can check quickly. Uh, how's the defense? So the defense is doing good. Ice time for uh, Murray. Where is he? Where is he in this? He could use some more penalty kill time. So we might, we might give him some more penalty kill time. We might do that. Just so then. But well, you know what? No, we'll, we'll, we'll leave it the way it is. It's a 30... Yeah, it's been a long video. Okay, so we will end it off there, guys. Let's go... Well, obviously, let's go and check out and see who we got in the next round. I will be making the next episode pretty quick. I'd like to, because I know you guys had to wait a week or a week and a bit for this one, so I do apologize for that, but, I mean, got busy lives, so... Uh, hopefully, this episode is... Uh, 
uh, something uh, nice to watch. Hope you guys do enjoy it. Um, do we need to make any scouting decisions? Maybe for a goalie. We could scout some places for goalies. How about the dub? Go three weeks there. Sounds good. Uh, Colin Waite's actually back. So, well, that was kind of pointless. Um, you know what? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll put, I'll put him in here. Uh, where is he? Yeah, Colin, uh, Colin White. I'll, 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 after I edit off the video, I'll change it. Don't worry, guys. I'll get him back on the penalty kill. I just put on Heesher, but it doesn't matter. Uh, wow. And now we got the New York Islanders. So, two of the top teams in the game, in the league this year have to go up against each other in round two. They went up to seven games. We went through five games. So I like that we've been a bit more dominant. They probably had to go through a pretty tough opponent too, but you know what? That just happens. So we got a tough opponent once again here in the uh, in the playoffs, once again against the New York Islanders. So you guys saw most of the stats. You saw who was playing. Dubois was a minus one. That was interesting. I wanted to note. Um, Keller is a bit unhappy with ice time. Murray had that one stage where he was a bit unhappy with ice time. I think we're okay though. So you guys can let me know if we do need to make any changes. I think we should be good. I'll probably make the next episode within the next day or two. Uh, get that out pretty quick as well right after this one hopefully. And we'll see how that's working out. Uh, I may not, I may read your comments after I record it, but we'll see what happens. We'll see, uh, just timing wise how everything works out. But anyways, guys, I will end it off there. It's been a long episode. I hope you did enjoy that. Hope you did enjoy it. Our team will be going up in the second round against the New York Islanders. It's going to be a very exciting playoff episode once again. So uh, again, hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next episode. One, two, three, let's go.